Imagine the world you live in stopped dead in its tracks. What if your life, your day, came to a screeching halt because our planet did? Just how much would you be able to feel this sudden shift? And how would an event of this magnitude affect our planet? Can you feel the tension in the air right now? This is Imagine That. And today we will imagine what would happen if the world stopped spinning. We might not feel it, but our humble pale blue home in the solar system has been rotating at a pretty much steady speed for billions of years. It has been doing so for so long that we take it for granted and accept it as a rule of nature. The Earth losing the momentum that causes it to rotate might seem hard to imagine, but believe it or not, the world actually has been losing its momentum for the last billion years. Except for a few rare exceptions, such as the shortest day on June 29, 2022, the Earth's rotation speed has been gradually decreasing each year, making our days slightly longer. Only, this process is so exceptionally slow that we don't even notice it. Each century, a day gets longer by a minuscule two milliseconds. Now we would like you to imagine what if this process was sped up to a considerable degree. To understand what would happen in this scenario, first, we need to understand how Earth's rotation affects our planet. Earth rotates on its axis at a speed of 1,000 miles per hour at the equator. Unlike a spinning top spun in the Earth's atmosphere, which eventually stops spinning due to friction with the atmosphere, there is essentially nothing to stop the Earth from rotating. But let's say some unprecedented thing happened that stopped this motion. Then what would happen? For starters, the day-night cycle would completely change and we would experience six-month days and six-month nights. But that would be the last of your concerns considering you would be thrown eastwards at a speed of a thousand miles per hour, assuming you're somewhere on the equator line. You didn't think you would stop moving just because the Earth did, did you? Even if you were one of the lucky few that survived this ordeal by being on a plane, a space station far from Earth, or one of the poles when it happened, you will now have to face a world that is plagued with constant tsunamis and storms. Just like you, our planet's atmosphere would also keep spinning, even if the planet itself stopped. The winds this creates would scourge most of the surface of the Earth with bigger storms than we have ever experienced before. Most western coasts would come under gigantic tsunamis. The oceans would move eastward extremely quickly and a good chunk of the world as we know it would be submerged underwater. But this wouldn't be a permanent change, as without the inertia that the Earth's spin gave them, the oceans would move towards the poles where the gravity is stronger. Like all of this wasn't enough, the molten iron that resides at the core of the world would also stop moving. This might not sound that bad initially, but that same motion creates the electrical current that gives our planet its magnetic field that protects us against the radiation coming from the sun's rays. This would make the surface of the Earth that is facing the sun completely uninhabitable for most living beings. And on a much lighter note, the Earth would lose its bulge around the equator line and turn into a perfect sphere without the centrifugal force exerted by the rotation. And just like that, our planet would be unrecognizable after a while. The Earth might be slowing down, and at this point, we are fine with that reality but stopping it completely would take something more catastrophic, like a planetary collision. Luckily, that possibility is pretty much completely off the table at the moment, so we won't have to worry about our only home in the universe stopping anytime soon. Here's to hoping it stays that way.